thee we come, O Lord our God. in the name of the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. My brothers and sisters, let us pause and confess our sins and shortcomings unto God through an examination of conscience. And now let us recite together the second form of the act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned and thought word in me. By my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. Your Lord, hear our prayer. And the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Indeed, the Lord God does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars. Who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks. Who will not prophesy? Trust in the Lord your God, and you will be found firm. Trust in the Lord God, and you will see you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, the world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, Almighty God, grant us the zeal to lead others to your Son, the wisdom to deal with those 
who reject Him, and the faith to bear testimony to your Spirit within us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. <clears throat> there earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> the res responsorial psalm is, Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed it is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwells in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of our world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor, that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times, to sum up all things in Christ in heaven and on earth. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. But how can the people call up him whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, so I want you. Almighty and eternal God, cleanse my heart and my lips. 
As you cl cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, and your mercy cleanse me so that I may willingly proclaim your gospel. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you, or listen to you. Leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repent repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed many who were sick with oil and cured them. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus. Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. And Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over clean spirits. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons and they anointed with oil the sick and many were cured. These words we find in the gospel according to St. Mark. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the most amazing stories is found in Holy Scripture is when our blessed Lord gave authority and power to his first chosen, the twelve apostles. In the New Testament, we see this power in action as they, the apostles, performed many miracles. In the book of the Acts of the Apostles, which is a history of the early Christian church, as written by St. Luke, we see this power from Peter healing a crippled beggar to Philip performing miracles as he denounced Simon the magician. And we continue to witness this power of God in the 21st century by many who have been called and given the power of the Holy Spirit. How eloquent St. Paul was in his letter to the Ephesians. And what I'd like to have you do is to please, if you have the bulletin with you, follow along with me the second reading. And I will highlight just a couple of words and phrases. Paul starts and he says, Brothers and sisters, blessed be the Lord. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed Christ, blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing. We find in the book, the first book of St. Paul to the Corinthians, how these spiritual gifts were given to some to teach, to some to heal, to some to prophesy. He continues, as he chose us in him, God choosing us, God having a divine plan before the foundation of the world and has called upon 
us to be holy and without blemish before him. How difficult Jesus in that one statement, be perfect as my Father is in heaven. And we find that God is love because Paul continues and he says in love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ. Ever since man fell from the grace of God in the Garden of Eden, there was only one way that man could be reconciled back unto himself, and that is when the Lord Jesus Christ came and walked among us. Paul continues, in accord with the favor of his will for the praise and glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. If you look at the Aramaic word, Beloved, it is basically God whom we give the most love to and his son Jesus Christ. Paul's theme continues, in him we have redemption by his blood. It was that sacrifice that Jesus offered himself for all of mankind. For what? The forgiveness of transgressions. In accord with the riches of his grace. Grace is not something that we can earn. It is not something that we can buy. It is rather a gift that God gives unto the believers that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made to us the mystery of his will. As Paul continues, he set forth in him a plan for the fullness of time to sum up all things in Christ in heaven and on earth. I tried to understand what the fullness of time was, and it, it kind of came to me. There's been great civilizations in our world and in world history. But when Jesus came and began his ministry, it was at the apex of mankind's history. The three great known powers, the Jewish world, the Roman world, and the Greek world. Again, he continues to say, in him we were also chosen. Did not Jesus say, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. And that we are destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. St. Paul says, we have all fallen short of the grace of God, but it was through the sacrifice of Jesus that we are brought back into a, a oneness with God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we read in today's gospel how our blessed Lord called the twelve, just as he chose to call Paul a persecutor of the church, so he calls us to service. Not only does he call us, I've chosen you, but he sends us out into the world to let our lights, as he said in Matthew's gospel, to have our lights shine upon all men so that they might be able to see our good deeds unto others and give glory unto God. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth.
faithfully fulfill the ministry that you have entrusted to our care. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of God. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the Apostles. Remember your servants, Lord. We pray especially for this day, on this day, for the sick, for our sister, Kathy LaFleur, for Chris Collins. We also pray for those who suffer and who are dying. We pray for the hungry and the homeless, for all abused and neglected children in our world, for all victims of violence both here and abroad, for all those who serve in our armed forces. And we give thanks unto you, Almighty God, that you were able to deliver the children from the cave in Thailand along with their coach. And we also remember, Lord, all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and their all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering, that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing to yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ the day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries, in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that psalm moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again he gave thanks to you, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many, 
for the forgiveness of sins as often as you do this. Do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice of magnum host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar and to the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all of the rest of Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and in following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. May we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of
of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant this who lives and reigns with God, the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the heavenly bread, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With my prayer will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Receive the
receive the body and the blood of Christ. 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 Shimi Chao, the crib is to
tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which we, though unworthy, have offered in the sod of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And with God, thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the souls of our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, Lord, God, amen. amen.